Your local weather authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanowich, current time 1114. Today was beautiful. This evening, not so much. Starting to see those showers and thunderstorms becoming a little more commonplace, especially into the mountains. All of this moving northeast at about 35 miles per hour. We are tracking some light to moderate rain extending from areas, say, near Giles and Craig County, south into Montgomery County, all the way towards the North Carolina, Virginia border in Grayson County. Notice that we have more in the way of heavy rain out across parts of Greenbrier County with the movement east northeast. That will mean for you folks in Allegheny and Bath counties a better chance for some heavier downpours over the next 45 to 60 minutes. We're also seeing some very heavy rain situated uh, not too far at all away from, say, Bluefield, and that will mean your chance for heavier downpours will increase out across Bland and Giles counties within about the next 15 to 45 minutes. Future tracker showing that as we head, say, towards the midnight hour, highest concentration of wet weather will likely be towards the highlands and towards the New River Valley. Could have a couple of stronger thunderstorms tonight, but I will tell you that the severe weather threat appears to be diminished diminishing and looking into Thursday we'll have a couple of showers possible for your commute heading off to school heading off to work maybe a slightly better chance for more scattered showers developing as we head say towards mid to late morning and then by I would say mid to late afternoon a lot of this rain is gone maybe not all of it we're going to have some wraparound moisture that could bring the mountains a chance for a couple more showers early on Thursday evening but the actual front will likely skedaddle between about two and four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. All right, so let's look at Friday. Friday starts out dry for us. We're going to see some sunshine on Friday morning. Friday afternoon, clouds roll in, and we're going to have some isolated to widely scattered showers once again developing as we head Friday afternoon into Friday evening. And as we head late Friday into Saturday, the west slopes we actually start to see a couple of snow showers. As far as snowfall accumulation is concerned, I'm thinking that the highest threat for snowfall accumulation will likely be into West Virginia. So the severe weather outlook for us here as we head into Thursday, looking at the best chance for severe weather tomorrow, likely lying in areas along and to the east of I-95 as this front will finally move offshore, we think, into the Atlantic Ocean by dinner time tomorrow. As far as how much rain we see from this cold front, I would say anywhere from about a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain. So overall, it does look as though more beneficial rain is headed our way. Now, as we look now at the uh, chance for some snow, again, I stressed you, it's not going to be a big deal. We're not going to see much snow at all here in the Commonwealth. Most of the snow showers late Friday into Saturday will lie into Pocahontas and Greenbrier counties in West Virginia, especially along the favored slopes above, say, 25 to 3,000 feet. But again, Western Bland, Western Width, Western Grayson counties may see a couple of snowflakes during that time frame. So Mother Nature saying, yeah, hey, look, we're in April, but we're not done with winter fully just yet. Most of us not going to see any snow showers, but nevertheless, the West Slopes will late this week. Race forecast this weekend in Martinsville. The Eyes of America will be on the paper clip and we're looking at the Xfinity race Friday evening. Temperatures in the 50s with maybe a stray shower possible. As we look at the Blue Emu 400 Saturday evening, green flag drops at 730. We're dry, breezy and cool with temperatures in the 40s to near 50. Middle 60s right now out across the New River Valley. Mid to upper 60s, Roanoke and Lynchburg. Lower 70s, Martinsville and Danville. You'll notice that the upper air pattern such that we're going to see a big league cool down as we head into Friday, Saturday and Sunday because the jet stream takes a big old dip, but then it goes right back up to the north early next week, meaning that warmth will return for us by Monday and Tuesday. For tonight, we are looking at overnight lows ranging anywhere between, say, the upper 40s and lower 50s in the mountains, outside the mountains, 50s to near 60. For tomorrow, I think we're going to have some rain around in the morning, clouds around in the morning, later in the day, maybe a little bit of clearing. Highs in the mountains tomorrow, 50s and lower 60s, outside the mountains, mainly in the 60s. 50s Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 72 to 78, though, as we head into next week. Looks like the weekend is for the most part dry, maybe a stray mountain shower on Saturday, but Sunday is dry. Monday and Tuesday look dry, too.